The Uganda National Road Authority was handed the mandate to construct 12 different roads that would aid in the transportation of the petroleum products and its related materials in the Albertan region. The Director of Roads and Bridges in UNRWA, Samuel Mhoz, says the roads have been classified into packages. The authority says they have so far spent about 800 billion shillings on roadworks and are hoping to have them completed by 2022. We are ready now to facilitate oil production as well as, the, as it was decided by 2020 we are ready. We are now more ready in 2021, 2022 we shall hand over and go. Whether there is oil or not, for us we shall have done our part and we give them roads and we go. Among these, Ahoy Mabutiaba Wanseko Road with 111 kilometers, Masindibiso Road 54 kilometers, Masindibugungu via Maction Falls 80 kilometers, Hoa Nyairongo Chalushesha Road, 25 km, Wanseko Bugungu, 25 km, Buhimba Nareyo Kakumiro Kakindu, 93 km, Rusali Lankonge Sembabule, 97 km, Kabali Chizilamfumbi Road, 30 km, Bugungu Bulisa Road, 29 km, Tangi Junction Tupara, 22 km, Kaboya Kahuka Road, 43 km, Karugutu Ntoroko via Semeriki National Park, 55 kilometers. Mohoz explains that by the end of the construction, they will have constructed 700 kilometers of roads. So we expect finally not more than a trillion, or a trillion we go into these oil roads when we procure package 6 or so. And that is a trillion giving us 700 kilometers of tarmac is not a bad deal. Mohoz adds that during the construction of the roads, priority was given to areas that had swamps, escarpments, slippery areas to ease vehicle movements. So the strategy was to begin with the bottlenecks. These bottlenecks included swamps. All the roads had swamps, as we have seen, those feelings. You can't see them now because they are no longer there. <laughs> we had the uh, bridges, box culverts. Yunra is optimistic that it will be their timeline for the construction of these projects. The authority says that the building of in-house capacities among the UNRWA staff has been a major help in the speedy works that are being undertaken. Our own people also work on the projects so that the skills transfer. But I'm also proud to say that the group of staff that we have on projects, young people are very highly skilled and are able to carry out this work. UN officials say that even if oil exploration started today, the available roads can help facilitate the movement of the trucks. Jumakiria, NTV.